Hey folks, it's Dr. Brenda Money Coach. I'm taking a little hike today. I'm at Hogback Ridge Park. It's in Madison, Ohio. I'm uh, parked, camped out at Geneva State Park and did the beach a couple days. And today I thought I would uh, check out the trails here. I um, want to talk to you today a bit about morning routine. So I've, um, I'm pretty productive in the morning, so I often do work, but I'm trying to get back to the miracle morning. And it's a, it's a book uh, program sort of made famous by Hal Elrod. And it's based on the acronym SAVERS, S-A-V-E-R-S. And the idea is that some of the most successful people in the world have extremely great morning routines that sort of get their day off to the right start and help them be productive and and happy and their routines often consist of some or all of these elements so i'm going to walk you through a, a bit of this uh, s is for silence so instead of you know getting up and checking your iPhone right away. Um, meditate, spend some time in silence. Um, that's that's a, a good way to, to get going. The A is for affirmation. So create an affirmation that has meaning to you, something that makes you feel positive and powerful and good about yourself. The V is for visualization. So visualize what how you want your day to proceed. I'm on, this is definitely a ridge. So you can see there's a bit of a, a bit of a drop off over here. So cool trail. Um, so visualize what it is, how you want your day to go, but also begin to visualize about the things you want out of your life. The E part is exercise. Um, so spend a little bit of time doing some type of exercise, whatever that means to you, stretching, yoga, running, walking, biking, um, following some program uh, on the internet, whatever it is, do a little bit of exercise. R is for writing, I mean reading, excuse me. So find something, you know, pleasant to read and read, read do some reading every morning. And then the final one, and this is because I think he couldn't find find the right word, but S, the last S is for script. So writing, keep a journal, do some writing. And um, you don't have to do, okay, I'm at a decision point. Hemlock Ridge, Bluebell Valley. I think I'm headed down. I know I'll have to go back up, but this looks really cool. So the last part is uh, uh, writing. So that can be uh, journaling or, or just doing a little bit of writing. And for, um, you know, it sounds like you could be spending a lot of time. Indeed, you could spend an hour or two hours going through all of the savers. Or you could wake up, try to do uh, half an hour. Um, also, um, if there are certain things that don't seem to work for you, then, you know, make it all your own. Um, now, for instance, I love being outdoors. And to me, I'm combining exercise with sort of the silence, the meditation, because there's nothing out here but bird song. I can feel a breeze. I can just be really close to nature. So this almost does double duty for me. And at the same time, most of my day when I am at my RV, I am writing. So I don't feel the need to do extra writing early in the morning. So again, you know, savers, um, uh, give it a try. S, silence, A, affirmation, V, visualization, E, exercise, R, reading, S, script or writing. So give it a try. Wake up a little bit earlier and uh, develop a good morning routine and it will really help you go a long way. So that's, that's my uh, lesson for the day. I hope you're doing really well. 
I'm I'm at I'm in Ohio for um, I'm lost track of the days. I think uh, uh, two more days. Then I've got a one night stay over in New York State before heading to Vermont, where I'll be for quite some time. So I'm uh, trying to enjoy every moment that I am here and explore new things. And uh, um, if you'd like to follow along, please subscribe. So you have a good morning and have a great day. Bye-bye.